I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter. And I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. It will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel's history is encoded in her breed name. It was King Charles II of England who popularized this breed. He loved them, he would cuddle with them on his lap even during cabinet meetings, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, and, and some complain that he was more concerned with his dog's welfare than perhaps his people. But be that as it may, I think a lot of dog people can relate to that. The dog's regal lineage um, would continue for many decades and centuries. And in fact, Queen Victoria had a beloved, beloved Cavalier King Charles named Dash or Dashy. And Dash was her loyal companion. She had a pretty difficult childhood um, with a lot of pressure on her and this little dog was a really big shoulder to cry on. So, um, you know, as a spaniel, he's just the sweetest dog. I mean, you look into the eyes of the cavalier and you just smile. This is the most cheerful little dog you can imagine, so gentle and adorable. And um, I can imagine that Queen Victoria's uh, life might be very different if she wouldn't have had this very faithful friend. In addition to being beautiful and sweet, the Cavalier is just such an easy animal to have around. They get along with pretty much everyone. Uh, the ones that I've known, they get along with other dogs and cats. They get along even with bigger dogs. My dogs like to play with Cavaliers on the street. You just couldn't ask for a better natured animal than a Cavalier. Mm -hmm.